I'd like to go over some key searching tools that are built into the Google search engine and you may not be familiar with them. Yesterday someone posted this message to a, a listserv that I'm on and as soon as I read it I thought you know this is something that someone could find quite easily within Google. Uh, a person is asking for uh, AUPs that are online. First off, let me explain what an AUP is. This is an acceptable use policy. It's usually a document, something that's signed by a student or uh, a faculty member at a school that explains how the person is going to use technology or use the internet within the environment of the school. A listserv is an email-based discussion group unlike a bulletin board where you post messages and you see messages and everything you is done in a certain environment like a bulletin board a listserv happens through email if I were to send a message to this email address my message would be distributed to everyone that is on this list anyone who gets that message can respond to this message and the response goes back to everyone on the list so through email you can have a discussion group and never have to worry about some external environment like a discussion board or uh, instant messaging or anything like that. Now back to the question. If anyone has an acceptable use policy that's online could they please share the URL? Well I live in Ohio the person that asked this question is looking for things in Ohio so I came up with this answer. Here are over a thousand acceptable use policies that are in PDF format. Now looking at this search you probably because of all the uh, special characters you probably can't see exactly how I came up with this but here's what happens when you put it into Google. I've used a few key words and with some special uh, symbols pluses quotes things like that to come up with only PDF files on Ohio school servers with a, a particular phrase. Let me explain some of these key words. The first one is file type. File type lets me specify the kind of file that I want Google to show. Instead of showing me a web page with information, it's going to show me, based on the three letter extension, a file instead. So if I want a document, I can say show me only DOC files. I could do the same with PowerPoint. I could do the same with GIF, JPEG, ZIP, any three letter extension. You can force Google to only show results that are in the specified format. It's a very handy tool. Now on top of the file type, I have used a couple of other things. Namely, I've used a plus sign. A plus sign in front of a term forces Google to restrict the results to sites that absolutely have to have that particular term. So if I were to search for global plus warming, that tells Google, look for global, but out of all the sites, they have to have the word warming. The other thing is quotes. If I put quotes around words, it limits the results to sites which have the entire phrase with the word global in front of the word warming. The second search without the quotes would find any page with global and any page with warming. They wouldn't have to be together. In fact, because I'm not using a plus or anything, it wouldn't even have to have both terms. So if I feed this search file type PPT followed by the quotes around global warming I will get PowerPoints that have the phrase exact phrase global warming somewhere in the search if I split up global warming instead of having the quotes if I put plus global plus warming I don't have to have the phrase I simply have to have each of the words somewhere in the, in the PowerPoint. Again, I'm limiting myself to PowerPoints because of the file type PPT. To give you an idea of the difference, if I search for the phrase, there are 44,000 PowerPoints 
within the Google database that have the phrase global warming, but there are 11,000 more that have the words global and warming somewhere in them. The second keyword I've used is the keyword site. Site lets me specify a certain web server that could house my web page. If I were to search for site finley.edu plus the quote educational technology, this will list every web page that's on any finley.edu domain that has the term educational technology. Because I did not specify a prefix, it would find everything on www and everything on homepages.finley.edu. The university happens to have several uh, different domains. There's another one called athletics. That one doesn't have anything about educational technology, so nothing would show up on that site. But if I looked for something more generic, I could get multiple domain names showing up. If I put more information into the site part of the search, if I say site homepages.finley.edu, I limit my results to even I, I, I limit my results even more and I force the pages to show up only on the homepages.finley.edu server. Look what happens when I do this search. Almost all of the schools in Ohio have a domain name that ends with k12.oh.us. So if I do a search for site colon k12.oh.us, I find every website in Ohio from Ada to Zanesville because they all end with this particular uh, three, three character or three phrase uh, ending on the domain name. If I search for site k12.oh.us plus a file type PPT, I find every PowerPoint that's on every school website in Ohio. It turns out there's about 1,600 of these. If I add one more thing into my Ohio site file type PPT, if I add the phrase global warming, I limit my results to only the Ohio school web pages that have a PowerPoint with the phrase global warming. Of this type, there are only six that show up in all of the Google database.